OMG, this is so brilliant. That's just what I wanted, but however did you know? Uh, ah! Do you know what? I've not noticed this little thing there. It's so unassuming. You, you do like it, don't you? Like, are you kidding? I love it. It's more than I could have hoped for. I'm a very lucky man. Oh, you're uh, welcome. Uh -huh. Hey, it doesn't just do pizzas, you know, it does all sorts. Oh, trust me, I'll be doing bread in there, tapas, the works. Oh, it's not tapas in ages. <laughs> <laughs> right then, birthday boy, why don't you uh, get your nose into that book? <laughs> I'm going to get April to school on time, and then I may have a few more birthday surprises in store for you. Uh, no more foreign job offers, I hope. <laughs> no, thinking a lot more closer to home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get an early start. That way I can come with you to see Aaron later. I want to be there when he gets the good news about the appeal. Yeah, that's if there is some. He'll win, I know I will. And I know you want to see him, but the thing is... I really need to talk to him alone. Give him grief about taking the drugs, you mean? No, he needs to know what mistake he's made. Liv, the best thing you can do is get on with your schoolwork. It's uh, one less thing for Aaron to worry about. Right, so where were you last night? I stayed at Vic's. Well, I'm not stupid. Whatever's going on between you two, sort it. Our needs us behind him, not at each other's throats. The lies just trip off your tongue, don't they? I did stay at Vic's. You can ask her if you don't believe me. Please, Chaz, I know you hate me. Slight understatement. You really want... What? Lie to my son. Break Liv's heart. No, I don't. What choice have you left me? Sorry I'm late. I've been to borrow this from Sandy, Edna's diary. No rush. It's not like Ashley's a stickler for the time anymore. He'll be glad of the company. Not that he has a lot to say these days. Which is where I thought it might be nice to read to him. Sure there won't be too much fire and brimstone. Sandy said he got a lot of comfort reading it after Edna passed away, so, well, we'll see. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound negative. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Anything's better than me banging on about wagons or moaning about Nicola. He must be sick of that by now. At least you've been to see him. I, uh, have been so busy, what with one thing and another, I haven't had time. You're here now. That's all that matters. Is it? I visit people all the time as their vicar, but... It's different because it's Ashley. Maybe because I, I know him so well, we, we have history. Just the thought of... Does this make me sound like a terrible person? No. It makes you sound... human. Mm. Stop worrying. You'll be fine. <clears throat> Only me. Oh. Don't worry, I'm not here for another slanging match. No? You are here, aren't you? I just wanted you to give Aaron my love and tell him I'm keeping everything crossed for the appeal. Because that'll make all the difference. No matter what you say, he's still family, and that means a lot to me. <laughs> Since when? All I'm asking for is a chance to put things right. Wheedle your way in, you mean? You Get your feet behind my bar. Oh, from now on, punt aside oh. only, I promise, if that's all right with you. Well... At least that isn't a no, then. Okay. Well, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I appreciate everything you've done. Was that Aaron's sister? What did he say? He's lost, hasn't he? No. The appeal was upheld. Seriously? And with the time he's already spent inside, he should be out in a few weeks. I, I, I need to get down there. And do what? Break his heart? Well, if I tell him now, he's got a few weeks to get his head round it. By the time he gets out, you will just be a bad memory. Then I'm coming with you. If Aaron's getting the truth, he deserves to hear it from me. Do you know, for a moment I thought Chaz was going to turf me out again, but luckily she has other things on her mind, so the heat is off me. Well, that's daughters for you. Dads can get away with murder, but Mum's... <sighs> well, you know, I was even thinking of talking to my spirit guide, seeing if he could offer any help. Right, cos that's not a lot of bunkum, is it? <laughs> I've always been fascinated by the other side. Lancashire. The afterlife. And it stands to reason there's got to be something when we've popped off this mortal coil, doesn't it? Yeah. It's called heaven. Oh, if only it were that simple. 
You see, the spirit world has many layers, and it takes years of experience to understand them. Which you do, I suppose. Well, I'll have you know, I come from a long line of the gifted. Runs in the blood. Huh? So, how come you haven't won the lottery? First thing I'd ask. Well, unfortunately, the dead don't know the future any more than we do, love. I've had a few experiences. A medium once said I had sensitivities. No, we all do. It's just whether or not we choose to recognise the signs. Do you like a message from anyone? Or me? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, please. You can't talk to the dead any more than I can. No. Well, we should put it to the test. You're recently bereaved, aren't you? Maybe I could get in touch with your husband, see if he has any messages for you. James is with God, waiting for me. So, I don't need a blasphemous charlatan like you to tell me anything. Hey! Blimey! Now, is it just me, or has there been an explosion of party food in here? How can only a few bags of Cheesy Puffs make such a mess? You're not even supposed to be here. I thought you were having a crafty pint with Paddy. Yes, that was the plan, but I might have got a bit carried away building a smokestack in the pizza oven. You bored him to death? Well... Not exactly. I mean, it's a very precise operation. It takes time. And he'd be the first to complain if the pizzas didn't cook, so... Yeah, if he ever comes back. Trust me, the minute he smells it, he'd be salivating. <laughs> Besides, I thought he'd give us a chance to talk. I've been thinking about that job offer in Spain. Marlon. What job in Spain? There isn't one, OK? I told them I'm not interested. Oh. But... It's not like it's a million miles away, is it? And, you know, if it's something you really want to do, then I'm sure we've managed somewhere. Lots of people do. I know one would think you're trying to get rid of me. No, of course not, but I don't want you to miss out on something just because... Because of what? Because of the man I love and his amazing... Scary, but in a great way, daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I love our little family. Why would I change it? But, uh... No buts, Marlon, OK? Ready? You are stuck with me. So get used to it. Come here. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Group hug! Group hug, indeed. <laughs> yes, watch Come on, some fingers. <laughs> Look, Look at this bombsite, goodness me. <laughs> oh, I need my sandwiches. goodness. Look. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I like you to want to face the music. I always had you down as more of a coward. Believe it or not, it matters. I've never loved anyone like I do I. You've got a funny way of showing it. Harry. You stink, you look terrible. I'm fine. No. No, you're not, so don't try spinning me any of them lies. We well, told her. We didn't have a choice. I'm so worried about you. And last time you were. I haven't taken anything since the last time I saw you, I swear. Rather, I know I've messed everything up big time, but I didn't mean what I said. None of that matters, okay? All you have to do is, is just focus on the next few weeks and Brother, then. I'm sorry. I'm not as sorry as I am. What for? Has something happened? You could say that. I thought you hated me. I thought we were over. I know, Robert, and I'm so sorry. It's this place it got to me. You don't understand what it's like. You're always edgy, you're constantly watching your back. So you got off your head? It meant that I didn't have to face reality. But I've stopped now. I promise, never again. I didn't mean to take you out on you. It's... The thought of getting out of here and being with you again is all that keeps me going. Well, maybe that's all I want. But I was angry. I was confused. I, I did something stupid. Stupid like what? Come on, just get it over with and tell me. The things you said. Yeah, I know, but that wasn't me talking, Robert. That was the drugs. Why do you think I've stopped? I'd do anything for you. I 
I've let you down. I'm sorry. What have you done? He trashed your flat. Did a right number. I can tell you. Oh, it's going to cost a fortune to put it right. Is that the truth? It is Robert we're talking about. Doesn't do things by halves. Complete carnage. <laughs> and then I hear that, well, Liv's been chucked out of school and you're on drugs, so I do what I do. Make him suffer. And that's it? That's it. I'm sorry. So all you have to worry about is getting out of here. You've no idea how scared I've been. Yeah, me too. I don't know where Jimmy's got to. He was right behind me when we came in. I thought I might read to you. Would you like that? Edna's diary. She never was one to mince her words. Where should we start? Uh, Jimmy, where have you been? Kidnapped? That's where. Oh, I was getting us drinks, and this woman grabbed me and dragged me into her room. You're joking. I wish I was. She got it into her head that I was her husband. She didn't, uh, try it on? No. No, she just showed me old photos of our honeymoon. I wouldn't mind, but it was a lot shorter than me. And he had hair. You OK now? No harm done. Just the psychological scars. Hey, Ashley. How is he? Just keep staring out the window. I had no idea he'd become so withdrawn. Well, at least he doesn't think you're his wife. Oh, and I forgot the drinks. Yeah, I'll go. That way you're safe. It's not an old Well, it looks more like a peace appeal to me. I told you you'd guess what it was. Why didn't they let me pad it out a bit with some stuff in there? Because they look like a giant lollipop. <laughs> hey, imagine that. Ooh, take years to eat. <laughs> well, uh, lollipops aside, happy birthday, love. Yeah, ditto. So you've got the old pizza oven fired up and ready to go out there. Do yourself a favour, Bob. Don't ask. <laughs> you're here all day. Is that just a touch? Let's have a look. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is so br You really have thought of everything, haven't you? Well, I want you to have the best birthday ever. We're going to have the best pizzas ever. <laughs> well, you better get outside and get cooking, then. Yes. We'll finish off the party food. What are we waiting for? I let you go on and make it the pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> off you go. Enjoy. Right, then, Cinders, let's get you back in that kitchen. If I'm Cinderella, are you the fairy godmother? No, I'm the wicked stepmother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what on earth Mr James is doing with that... Awful Sadie. Uh -huh. She's obviously only after his money. There's another four pages on me here. And I'm not reading that. I wouldn't worry. This is like a dossier. Oh, I think it's just all washing over him anyway. Still, it was worth a try, I suppose. Well, he has good days and bad days. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Maybe we should think about leaving. The kids will need picking up from after school club. Right. Ashley, uh, we're going to get off home now. Home? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, but uh, we'll be back soon. Yeah, I, I want to go. Ashley, you are home. No, no. Yes. This is where you live now. You stay here. No. Oh. No, no. No. Nice one, kid. Your dad's gonna be well happy. High five. I think we've earned ourselves a little treat, don't you? Mm. Right. Ooh! Careful, I don't want to drop it, do I? Right. I like these candles, and then it's pizza time. We can't have crispies, do Stop talking about them and let me have some. We can't start without the girls. <laughs> Carly, April, pizza up. 
Just lean. Oh, okay. okay, come on. Okay. Breathe, baby, breathe. Come on, baby, breathe. Come on, baby. Come on, breathe, 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 breathe. Please breathe, April. Come on. Breathe. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, thank goodness. I thought. Couldn't you see she was choking? Thought anything more about my offer? I could do a reading for you now, if you like. As long as you cross us your palm with silver. Oh. The gin and slim on the house would do. No, don't push it. You're on dodgy ground with Chas as it is. Oh, no, that was just a minor misunderstanding. Look, you all know where I am, and that goes for everybody. My psychic door to another dimension is always open. Oh, it's an awful day. What if it's all doom and gloom? Oh, trust me, it won't be. They're just... Lonely souls looking to offer a little comfort where they can. Have faith in faith. Oh, <laughs> that could be your catchphrase. You could do a reading in here now. I'd love to hear what the spirits have to say. Well, I can do if you like. I doubt it. Charles love kittens. Mm. Well, at least then you'd be exposed as the liar that you are. I look forward to it. She must have just panicked. I'm, I'm sure she was about to do something as we arrived. Don't bear thinking about if you ask me. Then let's not. Uh, how is she? She's got a bit of a, a sore throat, but then that she's fine. I said I'd take her some ice cream. So. Of course, yeah. Look, we'll we we'll leave you to see to her. Maybe do this some other time. Yeah, eh? It might be for the best. Well, and I'm sorry for running off like that. I am. Um... I just felt so bad I couldn't face. It's OK. I understand. And April's fine. That's the main thing. You know, I won't let anything happen to her. Hey, nobody's thinking that, so you just you just try not to blame yourself. Yeah? Right, we'll get off then. Right, thank you. <laughs> Give our love to April, won't we? <laughs> Must have been a real shock. You don't have to explain. I'm going to get April the ice cream. Well, I can do that. Just give me. It's okay. Chance. I've got it. I can't believe it. Aaron must be so excited. Yeah, yeah, he is. A few more weeks and he'll be back home where he belongs. I'm drug free. Can't have been easy. No. Which is why we're going to have to give him all the support we can. Start with a massive party to celebrate. I don't think that's what Chaz means. Aaron's going to need a bit of time to adjust. Yeah, Rob's right. Let's not get carried away just yet. Well, if you two don't cheer, Rob is going to wish he stayed in prison. Sorry, love. Still all sinking in. <laughs> all right, well, while you two have been boring, I'm going to go and tell everyone the good news. If only it was that simple. I don't get it. Why did you change your mind in there? I was about to tell him. Because I saw what a mess he was in. And I might not like it, but the thought of him being home with us as a family is the only thing that's keeping him going right now. I swear, I won't let him or you down again. I don't want anyone knowing what you've done. We're going to make out everything is fine, but that is for Aaron's sake, not yours, because if he catches wind of this, it could send him off the edge. What, what do I have to do to prove to you how sorry I am? I don't care that you're sorry. It's too late. Because of you, I am lying to my son. And you know what? That makes me hate you even more. You put one more foot wrong, and I swear I will sit him down and I will tell him everything. I won't. Yeah, you better make sure that tart of yours keeps her gob shut and all. How is she? She's settled. Reading a favourite book. So, in other words, leave her alone, Carly. I'm not angry if that's what you're thinking. I know it was an accident. I just... I keep seeing the look of fear on her face. <laughs> Don't you think I feel the same? 
I don't even know what happened, Marlon. I turned my back for one second and then she was just there. She was choking. And you froze. Maybe, just for a second. But before I knew it, you were there slapping her on the back. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. But what? But nothing. It's just one of them things. I'm just glad it ended the way it did. Unlike Billy, you mean? What? No. Come on. It's not like I haven't got a farm for kids dying Don't on me. Don't say that. No, it's true. This is proof that I am not fit that to be is a mother. That's not what I am saying. You don't have at to all. say it's written all over your face. Do you know what? From now on, I want to stay away from April, and then she'll don't. be safe when the Carly. same goes for you. Don't, please. No, what is the don't point, do... Marlon, if you don't trust me? There's Carly, no don't point. Don't do Colin. Well, in a few minutes we make our first trip to Weatherfield tonight. It's about to get very real for Daniel. And it's Dermot O'Leary's first nightly show tonight at 10, where he'll be joined by Feisty Ladies, Catherine Tate and Ruby Wax. 